could do the heroic missions, but who is this? Ah, you're here. It's a great pleasure to meet one of the Republic's finest. I realize you can't discuss it, Lieutenant, but thank you for exposing the traitors on Ord Mantel. Uh-oh. Three. Flirt, keep talking, oh god. You're right, I can't reveal the details, but you have permission to speak freely. <laughs> I look forward to exercising that privilege. God. I represent Venara Kale, Senator of Coruscant. <laughs> she not only speaks for our capital world in the Galactic Senate, but oversees this planet's government. Senator Kale leads the effort to rebuild what was destroyed during the Sith Empire's invasion. Healing those old wounds has been slow and painful. Uh oh. One, the Sith left here years ago. The war's been over a long time. It's hard to believe we're still recovering. Some wounds run deeper than others. This world faces many a crises. A shattered infrastructure, a booming refugee population, whole sectors descending into anarchy. All of these hinder the rebuilding. Senator Kale believes you're specially qualified to deal with a dangerous and urgent threat. She'd appreciate the favor of a meeting. Immediately. Oh god, tell your boss I said no. Shh. I don't have time to meet with politicians. You misunderstand. This matter is urgent. Lives are at stake. Senator Kale is the greatest leader we've had in decades. She'll not only rebuild this world, but the rest of the Republic with it. Uh -huh. Speak to Minister Immo at the Senate Tower. Tell him you're expected. Good luck, and welcome to Coruscant. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I've been to Coruscant nope. twice, but it still amazes me. We're standing in the feeding heart of the Republic. Senate Tower. I've never actually been inside before. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, hi, dude. <laughs> hi. Bemrati Ivo, Semper Finst Jun, Omnesan, Dumul Ganyor Nord. Thank you for coming on short notice. I'm Senator Venara Kale. Forgive my abruptness, but time is a luxury I don't possess. As you may have heard, Coruscant is overwhelmed with refugees fleeing Imperial tyranny. Many have been here since the war. The refugees took over the old galactic market sector, huddling in shops and warehouses that were abandoned during the sacking of Coruscant. They refused to leave. Two, what's being done to help? Is the Republic doing anything to provide for these refugees? Resources are scarce. There's only so much we can do. As so often happens when fear and poverty dominate, a criminal element has risen to take advantage of the situation. The Migrant Merchants Guild began as a political advocacy group for refugees. Over the years, it transformed into a ruthless and murderous criminal syndicate. Oh god, why did I knew it was gonna do three? It's been doing bad rolls tonight. Why haven't you forced all the refugees out? Once they're gone, the gang goes with them. Past attempts to forcibly relocate refugees ended poorly. 
The criminals helped the people resist and came away looking like heroes. The Migrant Merchants Guild has grown increasingly hostile and violent. Their criminal enforcers have acquired military-grade weaponry. Earlier today, their thugs took to the streets. They attacked our security personnel, set fires, began rioting. We're facing an armed insurrection. Sounds like Ord Mandel. He just described the last enemy I fought. I need your expertise, Lieutenant. We can't rule out the possibility of Imperial influence. For generations, the old galactic market was Coruscant's central trade hub. Its importance isn't merely economic. It's a symbol of the Republic's freedom. The comm channels are jammed. We've lost contact with our security forces. I need your help ending this crisis. The criminals must not win. I'll do what I can. I'll push those gangsters to the bottom of Coruscant if that's what it takes. Burying them may be our best option, Lieutenant. Do whatever you must to save innocent lives from that criminal filth. Find my security chief, Captain Winborn. He'll help. Good luck. Yes, Senator, that's exactly what I'm saying. I can assure you that I've seen no shred of proof supporting these rumors of a defection within Spec Force Division. General, surely you understand. We need more than just your assurances in a matter of this. My assurances are what you're getting, Senator. They'll have to be enough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I seem to have a guest. But, General. <laughs> Impeccable timing, Lieutenant. I'm General Garza. It's good to finally meet you in person. Oh god, you're supposed to be my CEO. Shh. For a Special Forces General, you don't look like much. Uh, Given what you've just survived, I'll attribute that little jewel of disrespect to stress, this time. Speaking of which, allow me to congratulate you. You accomplished some impressive things on Ord Mantel. I am pretty impressed. Oh my god! It's not easy being this good. Uh, but I imagine the confidence comes naturally. Sergeant Jorgen, I'm pleased to have you with us as well. General Vander holds you in very high regard. Thank you, sir. But General Vander has an odd way of showing his regard. Vander did the best he could for you, Sergeant. And I'd say a position in the Republic's most decorated Special Forces squad is doing very well indeed. It's regrettable about Tavis and the others. I knew they were upset, but I never imagined they would be so foolish as to defect. Nevertheless, Whatever your former squadmates once were to us, they are now extremely dangerous enemies of the Republic. I can't wait to make them pay. Those traitors will suffer for what they've done. I'm glad I can depend on you to do what's necessary, Lieutenant. Oh good, he approved. So, let's load up a strike shuttle and hunt Tavis and the rest of them down like the scum they are. I would very much like to give that order, Sergeant. But I'm afraid we've discovered some new information since you left Ord Mantell. Our intelligence shows that hundreds of other Special Forces soldiers have followed Tavis and defected to the Empire. In short, Lieutenant, we have a catastrophe on our hands. How do we proceed? What's the plan? We have one powerful asset that Tavis and his followers haven't planned for. You. Tavis believes you're dead on Ord Mantell, and that Havoc's defection is still a secret. Right now, Tavis will be securing his armament and supplies. We need to cut those supply lines while he isn't expecting it. Sounds like a plan. Makes sense to me. In the past, when Havoc needed supplies outside of the normal Republic channels, 
they purchase the items from underworld groups here on Coruscant. I have units working to cut off these underworld sources, but two organizations are proving difficult. The Black Sun and the Migrant Merchants Guild. How tough can they be? Can these groups really stand against us? These aren't simple gangs, Lieutenant. They control large territories and extensive resources. You'll begin with the Migrant Merchants Guild. Our intelligence indicates that they're supplying Tavis with a full platoon of advanced war droids. Your mission, in the broad strokes, will be to locate the droid shipments going to Tavis and destroy them. Why not shell the whole place? Just mortar them all and save me the trouble, sir. This is Coruscant, not a war zone. Uh. One of my people, Corporal Garum, will meet you outside the Migrant Merchant Guild's territory with the full operational details. These missions are critical, Lieutenant. Our future success or failure is contingent on how well supplied Tavis and his followers are. This will be easy. After Ord Mantell, these thugs won't even be a challenge. Don't underestimate these people. There's a reason why they've been so successful up to now, and it isn't their charming personalities. I'll be observing your operations from here through your armor cam. Good luck, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Um... Here. Hello? Why are you on the table? Sir? just got lost. That's cool. I can also 
Much. Thanks very much. Okay. Can I sit? I'm sorry, that was just the funniest crap. He just tumbles out of nowhere. Sir, everything here is inspected and battle ready, sir. Sell junk. are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay.
character is just glitching out. Pardon me, soldier. On behalf of Senator Dolly Burbark, I praise you for your service and ask a moment of your time. The Senator sent me as his representative, though he'd prefer to be here himself. He loves to walk among his people. Ew, I bet he does. Um, give me a break. If your senator wanted to be here, he'd be here. Oh, he does. He stopped here on his way to the spaceport last year. He even waved at some of his admirers. Oh my Today, god. Today, the senator sent me to find brave and loyal citizens to help with a security crisis. It involves his work to restore the Republic to glory by re-establishing our technological superiority. Get to the point. That's all very nice, but what's the crisis? I was just getting to that. Recently, the Senator arranged to acquire a shipment of computer chips, advanced hardware that could create whole new industries for the Republic. Unfortunately, the shipment was hijacked by the Migrant Merchants Guild. Now, Republic security is afraid to take on the Guild's thugs. I'm sure they're just busy. Republic security has a lot on their plate. Oh. The Senator understands that, which is why he wanted me to find someone like you. Recovering the shipment of chips from the guild would be a great service to Senator Bark and the Republic. Count me in. Serving the Republic is what I do. I can tell you're a woman who means what she says. I'm glad I found you. To find out where the guild has hidden the Senator's shipment, you'll have to speak with Security Captain Denel Zahn. He ran the investigation. Then return the shipment to Senator Bark's office in the Senate Tower. I'm sure he'll want to thank you personally. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to be yawning. Lieutenant, Corporal Garam, sir. Ready to brief you on the Migrant Merchants Guild at your command, sir. Ouch. Oh, God, get on with it then. Ah! Start talking, soldier. I don't have all day. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, he liked it. The Migrant Merchants <laughs> Guild is a criminal organization comprised primarily of non-humans whose homes were destroyed by the Empire's assault on Coruscant. They began squatting in this district and refused to leave when Republic security tried to push them out. 
There's been an uneasy truce ever since. Sounds rough. I hope my mission doesn't make the situation worse. Uh, yes, sir. But the mission has to come first. General Garza informed me that your primary target within the guild is a cyborg inventor named Krell. Reports indicate that Krell's strength and speed are at least triple the human norm, with genius-level intelligence to boot. Taking him down will be a real challenge, sir. Understood. I'll stay alert. Additionally, Krell has designed and constructed a full platoon of advanced war droids that we believe are intended for Tavis and the other Spec Force traitors. A full platoon is a lot of firepower to lose. Tavis is really gonna feel this one. General Garza wants all of Krell's war droids neutralized before they can be shipped out, sir. Why me? Oh god. I don't see why a soldier of my skill is required uh... for this. Krell and his droids are way too much for standard Spec Force operators like me to handle, sir. Krell has his war droids patrolling the migrant merchant's guild base. General Garza wants them all found and destroyed. What about Krell? Do you have a fix on Krell's location? Negative, sir. We know he's inside, but that's about it. That concludes the briefing, sir. Good luck and good hunting. Okay, now... Um... I mentioned it in the previous video for this that's on YouTube. Not here, I don't think. But... I am... Actually using a random number generator for my rolls, which is actually called just random number generator. And you can um, you can do uh, oh, it's called random number generator plus. So you can do random number dice. Uh, lotto numbers, coins, anything like that. So the way I have mine set up is a minimum of one and then a maximum of however uh, the number of choices I'm given. Because sometimes it gives me two, sometimes it gives me, most of the time it gives me three choices. And then under how many numbers do I need? One. Uh, exclude these numbers, don't exclude any of them. And then I tap the generate uh, button and then it gives me a number one, two, or three. So that's why I've been using. It's a bit stressful, but it's fine. Some of the answers, like, when I first played this, the, the dice were fine. The numbers were fine. And now, oh my god, it's so mean and horrible. I don't know what's going on. doesn't show up on this map. But like, if I pay attention to the mini map, it shows it. Oh, Mr. Robot. I didn't realize there was a robot here. Okay. Captain. Ugh. 
In accordance with Security Force Regulation 1195, conversations with non-security personnel are to be kept to a minimum. Let's make this quick. I'm Captain Denel Zahn. Senator Barks Page ordered me to give you information regarding the Senator's stolen goods. Okay. Two. You shouldn't put up with it. Oh, God. I wouldn't let him order me around. Good. That's why we need to reach an understanding here. Uh-oh. Did the Senator's crony tell you where the shipment came from, or what these computer chips are for? I'm not paid to ask questions. I do it all for the credits. Ah, uh, no! All right, I get it. You should <gasps> still know the truth, though. The chips are from planet Ryloth. They're uh. designed to operate remote control slave collars. Under Republic Law 4412, Rylothian slave collars and the chips used to make them are illegal in Republic space, even for Senators. I don't understand. Why would a Senator need chips for slave collars? To be honest, I don't know. But it really doesn't change anything. The law is the law. Our immediate problem is that these slave collar chips are spread around the Migrant Merchants Guild headquarters. First priority is get the shipment together again. After that, bring the chips back to me and I'll make sure they're destroyed. Agreed. That sounds like the right thing to do. It's the only thing to do. Find the chips and get out of the guild warehouse. Once you've got everything, I suggest you let us deal with the shipment, not the Senator. Okay. Standoffs. It feels like we're back on Ord Mantel, not the capital of the Republic. Yeah, but, um, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. How is he standing? It's like he's standing and he has the guy's <laughs> head on his hip and the guy's arm is like around his leg. <laughs> he has got one arm, like, like death pad his back, like, it's okay. <laughs> Power to the whole blasted planet if you have to. We can't let those crazies take over the network. Captain Winborn, Senator Kale said you need backup. What's the situation? We're getting cut to pieces down here. We're not trained to fight an army of killers. <laughs> These gangsters are smart, organized, clearly trained off-world. They'll kill thousands. Might even destroy the Senate Tower. Leave the fighting to me. Pull your men back, Captain. Let me handle the criminals. It's not that simple. They came here with a plan. The gangsters brought slicers to access every network node in the sector. They're trying to take over the automated speeder flight paths. They'll cause thousands of mid-air collisions. It'll rain debris on the Senate Tower like a meteor storm. We 
telling how many will die. Enough explaining, let's move. Nobody's torching General Garza's office. Time to frag some criminals. Hope you brought plenty of ammo. The gangsters have armed patrols guarding the network access points. We need to push them back and manually lock down the terminals. If we get enough terminals, we might just pull this off. My men will back you up. Good luck in there. takes the amount of, it, and I've said this before on my prior uh, video, but I'll say it for here. It takes the stress off of trying to figure out what the best answer would be, but it creates a whole new type of stress with sometimes giving an answer you don't want to give type things. As you've seen, tonight was a night of bad rolls. But yeah, that's gonna be all for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay happy. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>